We have something in our studio that has me excited. And even though it looks like just a plain ultra portable gaming laptop, this has got a little thing, a little addition to it that makes this pretty dang exciting. Let's talk about how. So ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is the ROG Flow X13, the 2022 model. I mean, looking at this thing, it doesn't look anything too spectacular, but there's actually a lot of heft inside this thing. It's got a 6900HS, which is AMD's latest mobile CPU. It's got a 3050 Ti, so pretty beefy GPU. Um, it's got all of the bells and whistles that you wouldn't expect. I mean, you, get, you can basically put it in tent mode. Uh, the screen is actually touch, which is actually pretty crazy. Uh, and it's a 1600 by 12 screen. In terms of I.O., it's pretty limited. It's got a USB-C and a USB-A, and it's crazy light. The other thing, too, is that I, I will highlight, and just because it's hard to show right here, and we're going to have our full review later, and huge shout out to Asus for sending this to us, but um, it's actually got some pretty impressive cooling as well, and liquid metal uh, used for actually on the CPU. So, pretty impressive on paper, but Roby, we've seen these kind of crazy laptops. What has a you so excited about that? Well, it's this right here, the XGE GPU add-on. Uh, together, these two things weigh 5.5 pounds, and this is essentially a mobile RTX 3080 with a 150 watt, so basically what they're calling full power uh, TDP uh, in terms of what this GPU is capable of. Now, if you know anything about laptops, and maybe you do or maybe you don't, is that uh, when you get a mobile 3050 Ti or a mobile 3080 Ti, it's not the equivalent to a desktop CPU or desktop GPU, my, my bad. And that's because of the power limitations and cooling limitations that exist within a device like this. The idea of an eGPU, which is basically an enclosure for a full desktop CPU, but those have a tendency to be weighty and aren't very travel conformant, so to speak. Well, what Asus has done is they built a proprietary um, PCI connection that directly interfaces via a MUX switch on the laptop and gives you full desktop power uh, in terms of gaming and graphics, but then you can just disconnect that and then you've got something still pretty beefy and light uh, that you can take on the go. Now, I haven't traveled with this yet. Our, our full laptop review is coming very, very soon, but I felt like it was good enough to actually, before we got too far, just give you guys a quick overview of the laptop, show this off and show you exactly what I'm talking about and why something like this is so exciting. So just to give you a highlight again, we talked about the, the limited uh, connectivity that was on this, but on this device as well, it also includes, and I'll pop this off and uh, show you guys up close here. But when, when you look at the actual, let's see if it'll focus, will you focus? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so when you look at this right here, check it out. It's also got a USB-C. And what that USB-C does is it actually adds the ability for all of this I.O. that actually is on side of this device. So you can see it's actually got two HDMI, it's got USB-C, it's got Ethernet, and it's got its own power. Um, the other thing that's also really crazy about this is a lot of times when you carry an eGPU, this has actually got a 330 watt um, uh, power brick inside of it and everything just works with this. So pretty crazy when you think about it because this takes this little portable laptop that you can still do all of those things with, flip the screen around, put it in tent mode, all that sort of stuff. And then you've also got the power of a full blown RTX 3080 inside or at your fingertips for the 1600 by 1200 screen. It's got the MUX switch. Now what the MUX switch does is the MUX switch is new between this model and the older model. And what that essentially does is it's a switch that determines whether you're using the discrete G GPU inside of the laptop or you're gonna move to the uh, the full GPU. Now again, you might be saying, well, Roby, what does this mean? Like what, what kind of bandwidth does this have? So it's got a direct PCIe 3.0 by eight connection to the CPU, dedicating 63 gigabits per second of bandwidth, just a graphics processor, beating Thunderbolt, which is, you know, of course, if you don't know what Thunderbolt is, that's Intel's um, and, you know, Mac users use, use it a lot. Beating Thunderbolt by 57.5%, in other words, runs very, very well, lots of bandwidth. Um, and then the other thing too that's really nice about this is it's actually got a lock and you guys will see me hook it up here pretty soon. Now these do not come together. Um, they are separate if you wanted to buy this laptop and then buy the additional uh, XG, um, XG Mobile, um, you can. Because it's a 6900HS and this is AMD's, prof uh, AMD's latest 
uh, CPU, which obviously we, our desktop versions don't support DDR5, but this does actually have DDR5 and it's 6,400 uh, megahertz uh, for that. Okay, so in order to really kind of highlight what the power is, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to use my phone to record some of this stuff until we can actually get the, EG, the, uh, the XG Mobile GPU, when I use the right term, when we get the XG Mobile GPU and then you'll be able to see the direct connectivity. But I wanna show you uh, just how powerful this is in general. Now, one other thing, and I, this, I don't think is advertised, it also has a integrated graphics onto um, the, uh, on the actual mobile um, CPU as well. We are actually getting, and so um, we'll show a little bit more about this, but we're actually getting better results with our games because it is utilizing both GPUs when playing games. So the 3050 Ti is actually essentially getting a pretty significant boost in performance um, as well. So another nice little benefit of the X13 Flow. Let's just do some quick testing. I wanna show you real quick what I'm talking about. So here's Cyberpunk 2077. We're gonna open that up. Could be using my phone here just to make sure that we can record here, but you can actually see we go to video here so you can actually see. But in the video here, you can actually see that both GPUs are using wattage here. We've got a 14 watt and 15.8 watts, uh, which is pretty typical for a mobile device. But uh, there it is right there. So let's go ahead now and go to settings. We'll go to graphics. Check this out. Here we go, running the benchmark. And then here you can see we're getting 20 watts, it's, it's just loading right now. So there it is right there, 41 watts, and even the GPU itself, both GPUs are using wattage right now, and you can actually see those in there. And again, we're sit, this is you know basically full res uh, on this screen, um, and you can see you know 40 watts. Nothing too crazy, pretty exact in terms of what you expect. And then all in all, when we're done with this benchmark here in a second, we'll, we'll talk about how things ran. And again, Cyberpunk's just such a great game just to, uh, validate, you know, in terms of, hey, let's uh, let's put this thing against something really, really uh, impressive graphically just to see how this performs. So we'll get we'll get finished with this uh, and we'll get an idea in terms of how it is uh, at the very end. And there we are right there, you know, in the end when it was done, we got 38 frames per second, 18 min FPS. And again, this was on custom. You can see here it was 1920 by 1200 uh, with DLSS set to ultra performant. Again, just basically verifying that you can get 30 frames per second, which is actually pretty good. Uh, with DLSS and then of course everything sent to maximum uh, in terms of uh, graphics. Okay, so now let's do the real test here. We're gonna unplug this. We're gonna shut down the game. Now what you do is you essentially take this dock here. It's got a little kickstand. So we'll put the kickstand out. See, and then on the side here, plug this in like so. I'm gonna lock it into place. Now in order to make sure this works, I'm gonna grab all the other stuff that has to get plugged into it. Nothing crazy here. There we go, HDMI. Then eventually what you do is you get this screen and you just wanna basically hit okay. And then essentially it's now enabling, turning on the MUX switch and all that stuff and then boom, boom, we are now using an RTX 3080. And we're now into full integrated graphics. You can see that we can actually see everything. Hey, look at that. Now you guys are seeing the screen normally. So we're gonna do the kind of the same thing here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. This is like, it's it's RGB here. It's got red. This is the way the kickstand works. Again, very, very easy. And it's, you know, really, really good job in terms of uh, being able to uh, it look good and be on your desk. Just already, look at that, 71. It was up to a, over 100. So you're obviously seeing that we're getting, we're already seeing significantly more power pulled from not only the XG Mobile, but also from uh, the internal um, uh, integrated graphics on the CPU as well. So same thing, let's go to settings. Uh, graphics, we haven't changed anything. We'll just go ahead and run benchmark again. 100, look at that, 101, 104 watts, 102 watts. And there you go right there. Averaging 63.53. Again, uh, DLSS enabled, 1912 by 1200. Just a quick benchmark. Again, we, we weren't doing anything magical or anything like that. I wanna make sure you got to see a side-by-side -side comparison, but almost double the performance uh, of the 3050 Ti. You might be asking, Roby, how much is this thing? So base model, uh, 24.99. 99, according to ASUS's website. When I looked at the bundles for the 2021 model, uh, if you added the uh, XG Mobile add-on, um, it was an additional about $1,000. So $3,500 uh, for uh, this, um, this whole, 
package right here. But it's not about what I think, it's about what you think. And I'd love to know what you think about something like this. Uh, so tell us your thoughts. And you know what, maybe win a little cash in the process. First and foremost, you need to leave a quality comment down below along with liking and subscribing to the channel. Now when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive, it just needs to be something you liked or didn't like about the video, something that surprised you about uh, the uh, X13 Flow, um, uh, the RG X13 Flow, or uh, the XG Mobile device, whatever. Just not, you know what, can I, I deserve to win, it, it should be all me, can I have this for free, can you just, uh, can I give you my address and send it to you, or else, something else weird or lame like that. And you also need to ensure that we have a way to reach you via your YouTube profile, like your email. So put your email in your YouTube profile because we'll be giving away $25 to one lucky comment down below that is worldwide, as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. Now, if you don't put your email in your YouTube profile, we can't tell you you won and therefore you can't win. So what did you guys think of the ROG X13 Flow? And better yet, what did you guys think about the XG Mobile Dock? Uh, that comes with it. And, and not only that, you, not only you, you don't have to just get a 3080, you can also get uh, AMD. They, I think they do a 6950 uh, as well in terms of if you wanted an AMD in the dock, you don't just have to get an NVIDIA GPU. Um, and then better yet, what do you think about the portability? 5.5 pounds, uh, good cooling, uh, you have a lot of touch screen, all that sort of stuff. What did you guys actually think about the device and everything that you have here? And would you travel with something like this or do you feel like you'd rather just have like something uh, like uh, just a 15 inch with a 30 3080 mobile. I'd love to know all that and more down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Robitech. Did you guys know that we have a live stream channel for special builds and events? In fact, sometimes we just pull this stuff out live uh, and test it, or even pre builds So actually, make sure you check out Robitech Live down in the description below so you can like and subscribe to the channel and know when we go live and you don't miss when we do awesome builds or cover pre builds etc like this. Now, do you have questions about this mobile device or eGPUs or any other tech-related questions? Then check out our amazing Discord server over at discord.gg slash robitech filled with other tech and PC enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on these very subjects. Are you looking for cheap tech? Maybe want to know when this goes on sale? Then check out at robitech.com or at robitechdeals on Twitter. We have our guy, Tom scouring, our guy Tom scouring the internet for the best deals on all things from tech, PC, laptops, video games, you name it. And finally, you can follow me and my entire team on all the other socials at Robitech absolutely everywhere. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.